Looks like we've got a very mixed up grid. Williams out in front in P1, followed by the McLaren of ERS Hamilton in P2. Hello to everyone joining us for round 21 of Division 3 here in Australia at Albert Park. Here we go. So, formation lap, we are away. So, we have got the Williams of FTR Kyle on pole, followed by ERS Hamilton for McLaren, Greg Stars and I Settons, both for Red Bull, TXH Kraken for Haas, Aliu 33 racing for Alfa Romeo, um, we've got Driver SA3629 for Ferrari, Late Bloomer, brilliant name uh, again for Alfa Romeo somehow the Williams is already off track um, P9 we've got ripping rods uh, racing for McLaren uh, Mercedes sorry uh, but he's not feeling too great after the most recent weekend AMG page again for Williams is in P10 followed by letters for Alfa Tauri and Dawson X has been disqualified Somehow, Lapar's 95, Lapar 95, also been disqualified. What have they done? I Zombie also as well been disqualified. Drivers just coming into sector three now, getting those tyres nice and warm. Hoping for a good start. So as the drivers now make their way onto the uh, pit straight to form up on the grid. Here we go, so the disqualified drivers look like they've formed up as well. So just quickly again, we've got Williams in P1. Front row is locked out by the McLaren of ERS Hamilton. That's it, all cars are lined up. Five red lights. And they're out and off we go. Great start there from the McLaren of ERS. Hamilton already taken the lead. FTR Kyle and Al Sessons are also piling through. Oh, what's happened to Supreme Madness? Looks like we've already had a collision. 
There's bits of track, uh, bits of car flying across the track. We've got yellow flag in sector one. The Alpine there of uh, Lupar's just going a little bit wide. A little bit slippy off the line. Can Bucco make the move in the Alpha Tauri to go around him? No DRS yet because we are only on lap one. Can he do it? No, not this time. Oh, he's going to go for it this time, is he? No. Backs off. Oh, Hypnotic Booch is off track. Well avoided there by Lupars. Pack are still bunched quite closely together. Oh, we've got somebody in the pits already. So we've got TXH Kraken in the pits. Surely that's damage and not part of his strategy. Oh, we also have the Alpine of Lupars in the pits, getting a new front wing there. And also the Alpha Tauri of THFC with his serving his five stop penalty before he takes that new wing. That's going to be a long stop. So the Williams of FTR Kyle has managed to retake the lead from Hamilton, who's following closely behind. Does go a bit wide there. Oh, Ali, you and ERS Hamilton going wheel to wheel along the back straight. Beautifully done through the chicane by both drivers. High Settens is hunting them down, however. Both the drivers are on medium tyres. As is the Red Bull behind and FTR Kyle in front. Ali is going to take advantage of that slipstream. ERS Hamilton does an amazing job of breaking said slipstream though with a perfectly legal move. But here he comes. Oh, they make contact. Is that some front wing damage? The game is losing its shit. Oh, it looks like the uh, Alfa Romeo of Aliu. Oh, and we got a virtual safety car. I have no idea why. The pause is in the pits. Hypnotic Booch is in the pit. Oh, and that's it. Unfortunately, the bu the uh, Alfa of PSE Bucco is out on the last corner. Was Latexki also a, uh, a victim of that accident? Oh! Yes, Latexki is uh, out on the back straight. He has take, unfortunately taken somebody out with him. Who was that? Oh, it's a bit of carnage here at Albert Park. Luckily, looking like that car. Oh, when well, we have gone to a full safety car, so drivers will need to form up behind the safety car. If anyone's a fan of the real Formula One, you'll know how controversial safety cars are after this weekend. Let's hope that uh, race control do a bit of a better job. Less controversial job, should we say. So, TXH Kraken is with a five second penalty and with a three second penalty is driver SA3629 so the drivers now forming up behind the safety car luckily it is a relatively long lap so hopefully the safety car isn't out too many laps and we got some drivers taking advantage of a cheap pit stop. I Settens being one of them. And he comes out. Does he manage to make it out in front of Ripping Rod? 
And he does, yeah, so he maintains that ninth place. Greg Stars in the other Red Bull, also taking advantage of the cheap pit stop. Who else is there? So FTR Kyle now behind the uh, safety car, letting the grid form up behind him. We obviously have some people that have gone through the pits and therefore they're going to be a little bit slower catching up. So it looks like we're going to get at least one more lap out of the safety car. Lap 4 of 29 and we've already achieved a safety car. A virtual safety car was preceding that. So let's take a look at the order. Aliou has moved into second place as a result of the carnage. With ERS Hamilton dropping back to 8th place. Has he taken us a cheap pit stop there? Oh, SA3629 has decided to take a cheap pit stop. Is he going to go for the mediums? What are we going on? Yeah, it is in fact the mediums. No wing needed, so he's out of there nice and quick. And away he goes. Greg Stars is coming in for another box. Onto the mediums, serving that penalty, getting it out of the way. Oh, sorry, I'm mistaken. It wasn't a penalty. FTR Kyle holding on to his first place. Aliou second. J.A. Foxwell has managed to claw his way through the grid and has uh, managed to get into third place. Behind the safety car, followed by Dawson X, late bloomer for Alfa Romeo in P5. P6 is Supreme Madness in the other Haas. Unfortunately, TXH Kraken was in the um, the opposite Haas that is now unfortunately out of the race. ERS Hamilton was originally in P2 uh, at Lights Out. However, he is now, and we got safety car in this lap. ERS Hamilton has dropped back seven places. Six places, sorry. Oh, zombie. Severe collision. Is that one of the uh, the known bugs of the safety car? Looks like zombie could have disconnected. Oh. Oh, dear. Not quite sure what's happened there, but... So, we are about to go racing again, so let's jump to the front and see how FTR Kyle backs up the pack. So, the safety car is in the pit, and he's away. Is Aliou going to hold on to him, though? FTR Kyle on full ERS deploy. Crosses the line and gets that recharge. How else are we doing? Supreme Madness has gone up one place. ERS Hamilton struggling with late bloomer. Ice Ettens is coming in. And Ripping Rod does go a little wide on the braking. Is Ice Ettens going to make the move? As we go on to the back straight, or the back rather long curve to the left, should I say. Will Late Bloomer be able to hold him off? Oh, we've got a battle between Hamilton and Supreme Madness for P5. Going around the chicane in a group of three is not where you want to be. So we're riding on board now with Supreme Madness as we go around the final 
final corner, long right-hander onto the straight. Can he make any moves on the uh, two opponents in front of him? Looks like he's just going to be too far back this time. And of course, even though we're on lap 7, it's not been cleared from the safety car yet, so we still have no DRS. Multiple uh, time penalties being given out. FTR Kyle in full control of the race out in P1. Already made the move onto the medium tyres, I believe. Yep, indeed he is. We've got J.A. Foxwell on the hard, so he's obviously going for a long second stint after the safety car. Oh, the pause is off. He needs to get a move on. What's happening there? Oh, it looks like there's a problem with the Williams. Oh, and the Williams has front wing damage. No, sorry, the Alpine has front wing damage. What on earth is going on? And we now have DRS enabled. It looks to me like the Williams is struggling. And the Alpine, minus its front wing, is doing pretty well. Got the Ferrari of iZombie in the pits. Will be serving his time penalty. Um, not quite sure what happened there. EA Sports is in the game. Got a not quite sure what's going on with the order at the moment. Nothing makes sense anymore. We've got the two McLarens battling each other despite being third and eighth. Numerous cars driving slowly. AMG Page is both in the pits and on the pit straight at the same time, somehow. So we're riding on board with ERS Hamilton as he comes out just behind AMG Page as he exits the pits. ERS Hamilton is on the fast tyre. Faster, warmer, and he's going to make the dive down the inside, and it's a perfectly executed overtake. Nicely driven there by ERS Hamilton, and he does come up behind his teammate who is in third. Who is. Let's jump on with the leader who seems to be the only driver who is not in every position at the same time. Ali Ux, 33, looking to... definitely looking to be making a move on FTR Kyle at some point. And there is some traffic, but it's quickly off into the pits and out the way. So we're on board now with Aliux hunting down FTR Kyle. The grid order is jumping all over the place. Oh, big spin from ERS Hamilton. Will he be able to get back onto track? Ooh! Almost collision there with uh, Dawson. That is a really unfortunate incident there. 
So we're on board now with Lapar 95. Who's currently in the battle for the midfit? Who's currently in every place imaginable? Pars unfortunately has a drive through penalty. More penalties, J.A. Foxwell this time. Who's in a tight battle with Supreme Madness of, ha of, uh, of Haas for P2. Currently 0 0.8 seconds behind, 0 0.9 seconds. Dropping back to 1.8 seconds. Can he make that gap up before the next DRX detection zone? I have no idea what is going on anymore. So we're on board with Lupars here for Alpine. Who is also behind Lupars 95. Also for Alpine. Toto Wolf Conspiracy Theorists eat your heart out. Is this what L plan was? Safety car! Lap 11, safety car. All cars are going to have to form up behind the safety car once again. The McLaren of J.A. Foxwell looks to have made an a cheap pit stop after his little spin. As has ERS Hamilton, a double stop for the McLaren team. Going onto the hard tyres for ERS Hamilton, he's obviously going with those till the end. FTR Kyle on the hard tyre at the front, just dominating the race. Hypnotic Booch. Our old friend from Division 1. He's made his way up into second place for the uh, Mercedes. So the order has changed quite considerably, even before the safety car, but we'll slowly go through the grid as we wait for all the cars to form up behind, and once we've got the grid back together again, we can hopefully go racing. Lou Pars with uh, 12 seconds of penalties there, not quite sure what that's from, hopefully just uh, some corner violations. So FTR Kyle on his brand new one lap old hard tyres is ahead of 
hypnotic booch on his 10 lap old medium tyres. Who have gone on to new softs, um, namely Supreme Madness, J.A. Foxwell, the Pars 95, all on some medium so on some uh, new softs, which it's unlikely they'll go to the end. They're gonna have to make another stop at some point. The king of the old tyres, though, late bloomer with 12 laps on the softs. Obviously going for a one-stop, trying to make those tyres last so we can go on to the faster mediums and hopefully overtake the rest of the pack who have gone hard. Waiting for the order from race control that the safety car will be coming in. And then FTR Kyle can bunch everybody back up together. Still got a couple of stragglers out the back. Hypnotic Booch gaining 14 places during the course of the 13 laps so far. That is impressive. FTR Kyle maintaining his lead from the start. Also going for the overtaking championship, we've got Supreme Madness with 12 overtakes so far. Zombie and Lupars both on joint 10. As we go around for yet another lap of the safety car. Bert Mylander going for the record of most laps led. As the drivers battle to keep their tyres warm enough. ERS Hamilton is having a shocker of a day so far. Back down in 13th. Six, mi six minutes? Something tells me that that's uh, incorrect. I don't think he's six minutes behind. The pars 95 speeding in the pit lane. Serving some of his penalty. New wing, new tyres, penalty equals long stop. Remember Kyle, no overtaking the safety car. Hypnotic Booch on the mediums. Ready to battle with Kyle for that first place. Toto already has his Bose headphones at the ready, ready for a good desk smash. Closely followed behind by Aliu, who's ready to get involved on the hard tyres. Will he have the pace at the restart? Dawson of Aston Martin. Gained eight places so far this race, also on hard tyres. This is going to be a very interesting restart. FTR Kyle backing everyone up. Building up a nice big gap as that safety car comes in. And that's it, the safety car's in. As the Williams of FTR car gets an amazing start. Everyone else was caught lacking. And away he goes on the hard tyre. Oh! Ready to give Hypnotic Booch an easy go. Cannot be overstated how dominant the Williams has been so far today. Never conceded first place. More penalties from Michael Massey and race control. 
I imagine they're very strict on the rules after the most recent weekend. No corner cutting. Or you will fear the wrath of Christian Horner. Jumping on board now with the Supreme Madness in the Haas. On soft tyres, this is an interesting strategy. Does he have the pace to make a move on the hard tyred cars in front of him? It looks like he does. Will he be able to make a move going onto this pit straight? He'll get a good run up. Oh! Who? Who? Oh, it's carnage on the pit straight. As ERS Hamilton tries his very best to get back underway. And he does. Not quite sure what happened there. Safety car is out. Once again. That was a big collision on the pit straight. Unfortunately, we did miss it. Lap 16 of 29 and we are waiting. Oh! FTR Kyle is out after a dominant first half of the race. That is so unfortunate. His pace was just unmatched. But Hypnotic Booch has seized on his lack of well look really and has managed to take first place and he comes in for the pits what does he know is he going for a second set of mediums or is he going for a hard set and it's the second set of mediums he's going for the faster tyre he's out he's dropped back to fifth but on brand new, faster tyres, he will take full advantage of the safety car restart. Dawson X disqualified from the session. Can we even red flag a race? There's just cars everywhere. Bits of cars. Got the McLaren of ERS Hamilton after an absolutely horrific incident on the pit straight. Going on to some soft tyres. Is he going to make those work? So, bar ERS Hamilton, we are now all formed up behind the safety car. And somehow, Hypnotic Booch has held on to third place. He does have some back markers ahead of him. Will we be letting the back markers pass the safety car, though? That is the question. So, we have Alfa Romeo. In P1 and P2 for the safety car restart. Aliou on hard tyres. Late Bloomer on softs. What will this do for the restart? Oh, and Ali, uh, Late Bloomer almost collides with the safety car. Probably didn't anticipate him breaking that hard for the final uh, left-hander. Probably should have. So the order as uh, as it stands is Late Bloomer in P1, Aliou P2, Hypnotic Booch P3, Supreme Madness P4, J.A. Foxwell P5, Zombie P6, 
P6, AMG Page, 7, R Ripping Rod in the pits, currently P8, Lapar 95, P9, and ERS Hamilton in P12? Surely that's 12. Uh, 10, sorry. EA Sports is in the game. So the safety car will be coming in this lap. As we go racing for the final nine laps of the race. Ten laps, sorry. Driver of the day is obviously going to be going to Burt Maylander at this speed. Can Hypnotic Booch pull off the perfect race and make it to P1? He's already gained 13 positions thus far this race. As we go around the start of the chicane. Epic battle for third place going on between Late Bloomer, Hypnotic Booch, Supreme Madness. No, please don't be another safety car. If the Marshal dies, they die. Can Hypnotic Booch make those medium tyres work to his advantage? as he aims for second place so much later on the brakes there hypnotic booch on the medium tires one of the cars there decided its own line here as Hamilton unfortunately in again Going back to the battle between Late Bloomer and Hypnotic Booch. Late Bloomer having to use full ERS deploy to stay away out of DRS range. Oh, and he does pick up a time penalty and he spins! And that is it. Hypnotic Booch moves into second place. A 14 position gain. Is there even going to be enough cars to finish on the podium this year? Luckily, we are avoiding a safety car and DRS is enabled. This should make things more exciting. J.A. Foxwell and iZombie battling for third place.
The Lando Norris Carlos Sainz battle you always wanted. And the medium tired Ferrari of iZombie making light work of staying behind the McLaren. He's in DRS range. He will get DRS going down the main straight, or will he? iZombie uses Matrix, it's super effective. iZombie rightfully backs off before the chicane. Two cars side by side racing for a position and he does it! Down the inside, can he make it stick? Foxwell has the advantage going into the uh, last two corners. And we have a virtual safety car. Of course, who'd have thought? Who has caused that? One of the seven remaining cars. I think this might be the smallest grid we'll ever have finished a race with. Hugely disappointing for late bloomer. Who unfortunately DNF'd after a big crash in a battle for second place with Hypnotic Booch. Ali Alpha Romeo defying the laws of physics. Going full tenet. And somehow we're racing again. Virtual safety car has ended. No one saw that coming. On board with Zombie as he finally gets the move done on Foxwell using DRS, using ERS. I have no idea anymore what is happening. But let's just see what happens. Something tells me that points might not be counted this week. ERS Hamilton started in P2. He's now one lap down according to the game which I trust about as much as a chocolate fire guard. Very slow onto the main straight. Hypnotic Booch, 2.8 seconds ahead. He is flying. He's going to make these tyres work till the end. Zombie and Foxwell, it's not over. These two are going to fight it out. Apart from Zombie and Foxwell, everybody else is just in different postal codes. The most action we're seeing on track is from the Lando Norris Carlos Sainz tribute band. And Zombie has just teleported down the track. Let's see if J.A. Foxwell slash Lando Norris can teleport using DRS. Good run through the chicane there by both cars. Seconds clear of the pack. 
this has been his race. Moving field of chaos, 15 places gained. Holding on to first place. An unfortunate retirement by FTR Kyle. It's meant that Hypnotic Booch can push his way into the lead. But can Zombie make five laps of magic work?
for those of you that stuck around, what was happening to some of those